I think the party scene is actually a bit better here. My friend and I joke that we're in like a long distance relationship. A lot of time in New York is spent by yourself. I definitely think it can be hard to date in New York and that NYU is kind of a difficult place to make friends. Hey everyone, it's Darcy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a specific request that I got. I asked for requests on my Instagram story. Follow me on Instagram to be part of my next video um, or next time I ask for requests because for this video I did ask for questions following that on my Instagram. So Instagram story is where it's at guys. Um, so basically today's video is all about social life in New York City and dating um, because it is a pretty unique place I think for that. It's definitely different than anywhere else I've lived. Um, also, I've done a social life video comparing colleges, so I will link that down below, but I talk about the difference in social scenes between William and Mary and NYU, and this video will be kind of more about the NYU side of things and just like New York more generally, so definitely check that out though if you're interested. So I am just going to jump right into some of the questions. I got a question um, asking me to describe social life at NYU, friends and parties, so this one's NYU specifically. Um, it's kind of hard I think because it's very disconnected as a campus, um, so for me like I think you just kind of have to put yourself out there, that's kind of the best way to make friends. But I found that in classes and stuff, and just in, on the campus in general, everyone's very focused on what they're doing. It's a very independent minded place. So it's hard to have a group of friends or people you see all the time, because you have to make a real effort. Because a lot of times you don't see your friends that often. It's not like in high school where you see the same people all the time. Um, it's much more spread out and people are doing their own thing. So that definitely changes the dynamics of social life. And then this person asks about parties. Um, I think the party scene is actually a bit better here than at some schools because like you have all of New York and lots of people have their own apartments and stuff and um, I think it's like more low-key but then you can go to bars and stuff too and um, you have to be 21 or like have a fake I guess but I don't know I think the party scene is pretty good I mean there's definitely like lots of parties if you're into that that you can go to and um, I think they're more fun than like Greek life parties just like based on my experience and kind of like what it's like to go to like a house party at a college which isn't really my scene so um, I personally like the party social life that aspect of it better but it is hard just in general to maintain friendships here although you can do it because if you like are committed to it but <laughs> my friend and I joke that we're in like a long distance relationship and we're dating because it's kind of like that sometimes because you have to make an effort and plan specific times and days to go do things you're not just gonna run into each other all the time so Okay, then I got a question asking, do you get overwhelmed by all the possibilities slash options you have? I don't know if this means like socially or what I'm assuming because that's what I asked for. Um, honestly, no. <laughs> I think the opposite is true. It's like it's so hard to find people you connect with just because like I said, people are doing their own thing a lot. So there are certainly plenty of people out there, but I would say it's like hard to find people, at least for me, that I connect with. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's easier for some people. I mean, it's just based on my own personal experience, but there's certainly lots of options out there, I guess, if that's what you're looking for. It's just finding those people who you can like continuously be friends with sometimes is a bit harder and finding like a friend group. Then my friend asked, how do you find guys that don't suck? Girl, I wish I knew. So this is kind of more about the dating scene, just like in New York more generally and at NYU. Um, it's hard to find guys who are available and a good option basically what i mean is a lot of guys are gay because obviously there's like a big lgbtq population in new york and at nyu um and then a lot of guys are just not the type of guys you want to be dating clearly interested in not a relationship if you know what i'm saying which it's fine if you're interested in that that's just not personally what i'm interested in with my dating life um but if you are interested in more casual kind of hookups and that kind of thing I mean, there's certainly plenty of opportunities to do that here. There's lots and lots of people. Um, you can obviously use dating apps and that kind of thing. And there's plenty of prospects. So um, in terms of that, yes. I have found that a lot of guys here are really, really assertive and will just like come up to you and ask for your number, which makes you really uncomfortable and you don't know who they are. So like, I don't really trust 
that anymore i've kind of just like been turned off by that <laughs> like if you want to go out with me then like actually have a real conversation or something um so yeah it's really really hard i've hardly dated since i moved here and like it would be great to date more but it's also like kind of overwhelming it's hard to find guys because all the good guys are taken <laughs> so i don't really know maybe as they get mature and get older it'll be better but for now i have not met a lot of guys who i would want to date and i mean again that also is because nyu for me a lot of my classes are very female heavy um i did not realize the journalism school would be so female like i've had classes where it's like all women and then one guy and then a female professor it's like very female dominated and sociology i mean it's a bit more split, but still it's like a little bit more female, I would say. Kind of depends on the class, but yeah, I think NYU might be slightly more female. And definitely like a lot of the art schools in New York are very female. And I don't know how people like, they probably like hardly can date at all of those. Because, I mean, the guys that are there are probably, a lot of them are gay, is my guess. So, not trying to stereotype. I'm sure there's straight guys there too, but um I definitely think it can be hard to date in New York and then it's kind of like how do you even meet guys like because if you just go to bars that's not actually the best way to meet guys um I mean you can and like that could work out but also I'm just like it's for <laughs> I have a hard time trusting guys and their motives so <sighs> dating life is hard here moral of the story so then someone asked how do you balance exploring the city and studying um I think it's hard sometimes during this semester to like go out, do things, be social, um, and then study. But that's going to be true at any school. It's just I think a bit harder here because there's so much to do. And so I think that's a major difference for NYU and just New York schools in general is I think a lot of the students don't prioritize school quite as much because there are so many other opportunities out there. Um, so And I love you know going out and doing things with exploring in the city. So it is sometimes hard to balance, but usually I try and leave some time on the weekends to do that and then during the week focus on studying and stuff. And um, it's nice to like be here this month in January and on break sometimes to um, just do more fun things in the city that I can't necessarily do as much during the school year. And then I got a question specifically, is it difficult to make friends? And the short answer is yes, I would say it is. Um, again, I'm coming from the perspective of a mid-year transfer, if you didn't know. So it's been more difficult, I think, just because of my college, just because of my college situation, it's been different just because I didn't come in with a class and I don't quite fit and I'm graduating early. So it's just like a weird situation. Um, but I do, because I've talked to a lot of other people and it seems like in general, they agree that NYU is kind of a difficult place to make friends. I think the people who have the most friends are people who grew up in the area, um, which naturally makes sense. But those of us who moved here for college, I think it's a bit harder, but then you can connect with those people too. Like when you meet people from who moved to New York, then you instantly have a bond because they know what it's like to try and live here because it can be really lonely but at the same time I don't want to discourage you because I've made one of my best friends here um, and there are amazing people here lots of people doing incredible incredible things so it, you can make it work it's just more of an effort than I think some schools and definitely more of an effort than where I grew up because we all like, live really close and went to the same school and saw each other every day and stuff so it's different but um you can make it work. It's just more of a challenge, I think, than some places, which is why I wanted to make this video because so many things about uh, NYU and New York are amazing and I love them, but if you're not someone who's comfortable being alone, this probably won't be your cup of tea just because I think a lot of time in New York is spent by yourself and a lot of time is spent like going between different things, being, I don't know, on your own or... I mean, there's certainly not always the space to be on your own if you have a roommate I'm lucky right now that my roommate doesn't really live here um, so I have time to be by myself but even just like commuting and stuff like that um, it can feel very isolating and so for me I'm an introvert I don't mind that very much I like doing things by myself but um, if you are someone who needs a social circle it will probably a bit be a bit more challenging here just because it can be hard i don't really know that many people who have a like really consistent social circle who they're always with like that's just not really a thing from what i know at nyu i so which has its pros and cons i mean i think you can find like really true genuine friends it's just you have to be willing to make the commitment and same goes with dating just because a lot of it is just like a kind of date scene that's supposed to a relationship scene which is what i would want so it's kind of a challenge, 
but that's kind of my two cents right now maybe i'll make an updated video after i graduate college because that can change and maybe things will be a little bit different then i don't really know what it'll be like after college because you i would think in college like you are surrounded by peers your own age so like that does help um because like i know people my own age going through similar things we can relate um but it'll be interesting to see like once i start working and i'm around people of different ages and all of that how that will change so i guess stay tuned for that and i will see you all in my next video leave any comments down below if you still have other questions you want me to answer um i love answering all of your comments so yeah and give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and subscribe for more videos all right i will see you all later it's Darcy just because of my college so <laughs> ask for requests on there a lot why is everything making noises